Four-month-old Timothy and his mom, Kimberly Laurent, may look like they're just doing what moms and babies do. So what I'm trying to do is get his attention right to this camera. But with support from the National Science Foundation, psychology professor Daniel Messinger and his colleagues at the University of Miami are watching closely to learn more about healthy child development, analyzing a baby's every smile, coo, and eye movement. We believe that through interacting, babies learn early social rules, when to take turns with their vocalizations, when to smile at the same time. In this experiment, mom and baby play, then mom stops. And we want to see what the baby does, how the baby either chooses to try to re-engage the mom or maybe uses that time to look away and disengage, um, and then they'll start playing again. They precisely measure both the mom's and the baby's facial expressions. The key for us is to use those measurements to better understand how interaction occurs. Okay, so what's happening here is the mom is smiling more than the baby, and then she peeks right there. Messinger says being comfortable looking away from mom is one sign of healthy development. As they move towards six months of age, we'll become increasingly interested in looking at things that are not the parent. Moms love the research with their baby scientists. It's really cool to be able to be involved in something like this and know that he was able to contribute to science. I think the neatest part of this all is using developing technology to understand what mothers and babies already understand, which is each other and how to respond to one another. Messinger and his team also work with babies at high risk for autism, those with a sibling already diagnosed. So finding children who are at risk, who are beginning to show uh, behaviors that might be indicative of the development of symptoms allows us to refer those kids to appropriate intervention earlier. <laughs> From the mouths of babes, insights to put kids on track for a healthy future. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.